Mary visits Elizabeth. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in a hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she, who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For 35 years, we've experienced the joy of coming together for the holidays. Yes, it's been our annual routine of taking a month off from working overseas as an OFW to come home for Christmas. We all look forward to that no matter how expensive and draining it is in our savings. No amount of money can compare to the joy of being all together during the Christmas holidays. In today's Holy Gospel, Elizabeth was filled with joy and so was the baby in her womb whom, as you know, is bound to be the great Saint John one day, on hearing that the voice of Mama Mary upon her arrival. However, the visitation, which is the second mystery in the list of five joyful mysteries, there is also a sad part. And what is that, you may ask? Well, Elizabeth feared for her life, I am sure of that. You see, women over the age of 40 who get pregnant are what medical experts call risk pregnancy due to their age. And Elizabeth, as the Bible tells us, may already be well in her senior years over the age of 60. Similarly, Mary feared for her life as she was pregnant without a husband. In Jewish law, a woman who gets pregnant out of wedlock risks capital punishment. So that's the sad thing in this joyful mystery. Similarly, this year, though my wife and I are supposed to be very happy in spending Christmas in the Philippines, what makes us sad is that for the first time, our daughter and our family, which includes our three grandchildren, will not be with us. They are overseas and won't be coming home this Christmas. Well, like Mary and Elizabeth, we just need to live with faith in our hearts. We should believe that God meant us to be where we are right now, and depend on Him that everything will be fine. So as we reflect on this, I'd like to request you to join me in prayer. Lord, where you lead, I will follow anywhere that you tell me to. Lord, here I am. Let me hear you calling, and I will hold your people in my heart. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Good morning, everybody. It's a brand new day, the 21st of December, a Wednesday, in the year of our Lord, 2022. Four more days till Christmas. Hey, again, my advice to you is keep your social distancing, wear that mask, and keep clean. Maybe wash with alcohol, as we all don't want to get sick during Christmas. Okay? Uh, subscribe, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, and share, as somebody out there may need a prayer, a reflection. I'd like to thank you in advance for that. Okay? You all keep safe, and then of course, enjoy the day, have the Christmas spirit in your heart, and God bless.